Hi everyone, it's Lori. Today's video is going to be really simple. I am just editing this gorgeous fall scene. What I wanted to do was turn this really snapshot into a magical fall um, image. I've got a couple ideas to get started. My first idea is I want to remove, of course, these um, markers right here. So I want to want to get rid of those, of course. I want to clean up this um, asphalt here. It just doesn't do anything for this scene. So I'll probably take this into Photoshop and maybe clone some leaves and just soften this part of the image. I want to enhance this gorgeous fall color and do something with the blown out sky. I did not do a HDR image of this. I did not um, take an image exposing the sky in one of the um, leaves. I just basically took a shot. Uh, this is actually my only shot of this scene. And I was focused back here trying to just um, expose for this color. So we're going to just try to see what we can do to recover and make a beautiful fall image with this. So let's jump in and get started. I'm here in Lightroom and I already did a crop adjustment. So I just straightened it up a little bit. And so the next thing I want to do, my histogram looks pretty good. I like to open up my shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and that's going to automatically brighten it a little bit. And our whites are, they're not blown out. Well, the sky is blown out. So let's go ahead, move those highlights down. And that's gonna actually bring back some of the sky. Now I can try dehaze, but that's gonna dehaze the whole image. So I think instead, what I wanna do is go ahead and do a mask and we're just gonna tackle this sky right off the bat. So gonna do a sky mask and let it detect the sky. It did a great job. And now what I can come down do is come down and I want to use the dehaze tool. See what that does. There wasn't a lot going on with the sky this day. So I've just got that little pop of blue. Let's come up to the temperature and see if we can make it a little bluer or we could give it more of a golden. I think I will give it just a little bit more blue. And exposure we could decide to darken it, I think leaving it really right where it is. So we're not going to get much in the way of this sky. Um, I can also bring down the highlights and maybe I'll bring down the saturation a little. I don't want it that, that blue. Okay, so that's a little bit better. That was before and that's after. So I can be happy with that. All right, next up, I'd love to play with these colors a little bit. And so let's go back to our basic area and I'm going to open up the shadows a little bit more. Um, there we go. I like I want it to be a little bit bright and um, I want the shadows on these dark parts of the trees to be opened up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to minimize the tone curve and I'm going to come down to color mixer and I really love this new point color. So I'm going to grab that target tool and I'm going to come over I'm going to start in this area. So I love this kind of salmon color and I just want to bump the saturation on that just a little bit and maybe a little luminance. There we go. Now I'm going to come in and let's target this darker color. So that kind of dark red, darken that saturation and also brighten it just a little bit. So now if you do your before and after, look at how these colors are just popping. Now I'm struggling a little bit with the yellow. So I'm going to go to the mixer and on my yellow saturation, I'm just going to decrease it just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think that reduces that yellow cast and really makes the orange and the reds pop. Now my greens, I think are okay in this image. Sometimes I like to alter the greens, but I think those colors are all um, are all working okay. So the next step is I'm just going to take this straight into Photoshop. So let's right click, edit in and go over to Photoshop. So for things like removing something this large, um, working on cloning this area here, I like to do that in Photoshop. So when you have to um, take that extra step and it makes it a lot easier. Now, if you are not usually a Photoshop user, I encourage you to use it if nothing else for the remove tool, the remove tool is a huge advantage. So I'm going to start by duplicating my background layer, command J. I like to do that so that I always have my original here. And now I'm going to come over and use the remove tool. 
So we're just going to go over this sign. I'm going to come down and we'll go over this sign. Now when I use the remove tool up at the top of our screen, all the way up here, you can um, you can mark that you don't want to remove after each stroke. So I like to go ahead and mark what I want to remove, any cleanup that I want to do. And there's actually even something right here. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up too, right along the um, gate there. Okay, now I'm going to click the checkbox and we will let Photoshop work its magic to remove these signs and see how it does. It usually works almost 100% of the time, so we don't usually have issues with it, but we'll see, we'll see what it does today. You just never know. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now I see, see a little bit right there that maybe got a little bit, um, a little bit weird. So I'm just going to go back over that a second time and that looks better. I'm just going to double check. There might be a line right here. So let's just come back over it. Want everything to look legitimate. And the beauty of the remove tool is you usually don't then have to use the um, clone tool. So I'm just going to come in and hit these areas and click the box there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and I am going to um, go add a transparent layer at the bottom and I'm going to go to the clone tool. And the next thing I want to do is try to clone some of these leaves. So let's make the brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to play with it to see if I can kind of just um, parcel these around and yeah, just kind of clump some of these. And then what we can do is we can always, um, Now, if you like using the AI tools, you could also use AI to add some leaves, but I want to use my image for this. So I'm just going to kind of pop some of those around. Trying to make that look pretty natural. That looks a little bit better. Now, what I could also do is, um, there we go. This area was not in focus, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just gonna kind of pop some more here. And I may add a texture to this image when I finish. So that is also an option that will make it look a little bit more um, finished. Now, what we can also do is you know, just brush some of these around that way. Now, if there's a part that you don't like, we can grab our eraser tool. And I think I'm going to reduce the opacity of that to about maybe 35%. Um, and I'm just going to brush some of that off just to make it a little bit more um, natural. And then I can go back to my clone tool, maybe grab and just put a little bit more right there in the corner. All right, so um, let's see what we do if we do that right there. All right, I think that just softened it a little bit. So I'll show you before, see how stark that was, and now after, um, looks pretty good. And especially if I come back and um, add some texture to this area or even darken this. So I could go and do a linear gradient, which is maybe what we will um, we will do. So at this point, um, I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. And so let's go ahead and do file, save. And it's going to take this file back to Lightroom. And then we can make some additional final tweaks. So once the image comes over, my idea now is that I'm going to darken um, this lower area with a linear gradient. And I'm going to darken the road a little bit. And at that point, I could be finished with the image, but I could also take it into Topaz Studio 2 and really enhance the leaves to give it more of a painted um, look. So we've got Photoshop is saving the image. It's almost done. And once it comes back, we will make those extra changes. OK, so here's our image that we just edited in Photoshop. Here is the before image and 
here is our after. So I think the image is getting there. Let's go ahead now and add that linear gradient. And I'm going to do it from the bottom up. Now, I love a linear gradient because it's going to be very soft and natural. It's going to fade as it goes towards the top part of the image. So all I'm going to do is come in and just darken that, just give it a little um, exposure adjustment, which also really leads our eye towards the fall scene, which is where I wanted the eye to go. Now, the next thing I'll do is I'm going to do another new mask. And I think for this, I'll do objects. And let's just do a square right here. See if it detects our road. Very nice. That's kind of what I wanted. So now I'm going to come in and just darken that a little bit as well. We can also get rid of that. It's got a little bit of a red tone. So I want to want to shift that. We could decide I don't want to go blue, maybe a little more golden since there is a lot of light. And um, let's see if we reduce the contrast and come down and maybe even um, reduce the clarity. Add a little texture. That definitely looks much more like the old, it's kind of a, a wood, wood bridge there anyway. And then I'm gonna come up and reduce the exposure. So for things like this, I like to use a couple different tools, thinking about just how to simplify this area. Now you can see my mask is a little bit, um, it's, it's got, let me zoom in for you. If I can get it to zoom in, there we go. You can see we've got a little mistakes here. So I'm just gonna do add and grab the brush and I can just brush right in those areas to make sure and maybe even brush back here a little bit and along these sides. So just wanna darken that a little bit to lead the eye down. All right, so now let's look at before. See how bright that road was? And really until you play with something like that, sometimes you don't notice. But I just don't want the eye to go there. I want you to be focused on the fall scene and not, I want the road to be part of the scene, not the brightest part. So always look in your images for where you have bright spots. Do those bright spots make sense? And in this case, I don't think, I don't think it did. All right, let's go back to our fit here. And um, at this point, I really, I really like everything. Now with the trees, I could decide if I want to soften those trees some more. Um, you could really continue to tweak and modify the image. Um, so I love this version, but let's go ahead and take it into Topaz Studio 2. Haven't used that in a few weeks, and I'm thinking this image would be really nice to soften these leaves and give it a painted look. So what's great about Topaz Studio 2 is it is a plugin that works with Lightroom. And so it will make a copy of the file and then it's going to open it in Topaz for us. So I'm going to tell it to edit with the Lightroom adjustments. It will prepare a file. It's going to make another copy and it will open it up in Topaz. And then when we're finished, it will be saved and we'll actually have a third vision version of this image. So we'll have our original our Photoshop, and now we'll have this third version. So we're gonna jump over to Topaz, and I'm gonna show you just a couple ways that we could really make this look like a beautiful fall painting and um, finish this image up in a creative manner. So it's going to open the file, and if you're not familiar with Topaz, Topaz has all of these editing tools, but it also has looks that you can play with. So um, there are several looks that I really like. I'm gonna go to the artistic panel. And this is where we're just gonna have tons of options that we could play with for this image. Um, colored pencil's really nice. Um, let's see as we go down. There's several that would work for um, an image like this, but let's try Happy Trees. Now at 100%, you can see what happens. I like to reduce um, the application. Now look what a painted effect that gives um, these trees. So that one is really nice. That is Happy Little Trees. Another one is this Am I Impressionistic? And this is one by an artist that actually a photographer that lives in Tennessee now and um, love this one. And I think at that's a pretty nice um, at about 35%. That's a really nice one. 
Oil painting is another one that we could use. And it's a little heavy for me, so I think that is just um, a lot. I really would want to soften the image. So I think for me, um, one of those first ones, let's try simple sketch as well and take it down. So that gives us a lot. It makes it look a little bit busier as well. So I think the best one for me here is the um, Happy Trees. So I'm going to select that. And again, I'm going to lower the opacity. Probably. That's pretty nice. Let's try that. I'm going to click Apply. And it's going to bring it over here. Now what's great is we can turn it on and off. So I'm going to turn off the effect and I'm going to show you one other option. So another option is to come down and I like the glow tool. I'm going to increase the glow. You can see what it does. And then I like to reduce the opacity. And it just gives it a soft look overall. You can see before and after really just softens everything and I think just gives it that really beautiful painted look. And it doesn't impact our light, our colors. Um, so I really like that effect. Or I can turn on the happy little trees, which is very similar, but I think I like the glow a little bit better. It just gives it that nice soft effect. So at this point, I'm just gonna click accept. This will take the image back into Lightroom. And at this point, I am really happy with this beautiful fall fall image. This is what it looked like as I was driving up to this bridge. And I think just making these couple tweaks really enhanced it. So my key learnings with this image was to, of course, fix the blown out sky, to darken the bright hot spot, and um, to then add some whimsical fun um, edits to it. So let's look at, this was the true before. So we did our cleanup. You can see how bright that bridge was. Did some cleanup in Photoshop, brought it back to Lightroom, made our adjustments to darken the bridge and um, work on our colors a little bit. And then after that, we get to our final image that was over in Topaz. So I hope you enjoyed this edit and that you're able to get out and enjoy the season of autumn. Thanks so much for watching.